Hey guys, today we are going to have a little chat about a fragrance. And uh, this is a little guy that I've owned in minis, 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 minis. This is empty actually, by the way. This is a new mini that I have of it. I have never had an urge to purchase it in full size. However, I keep getting minis and keep using them up. Which perfume is it? Ner Elizabeth and James Nirvana, the white version. I have to say right away and put it out there on the table to prevent any kind of uh, questions from happening. Um, the original two Nirvanas, the black and the white, I really truly prefer the black. I think the black is the more interesting one. The black is the mysterious and, and cool and edgy and uh, uh, provoking, um, thought provoking fragrance. White is a, a very, very heavily edited, simple, musky floral. The fragrance was uh, initially composed for 2013 release by Honoré Blanc. Honoré Blanc is an interesting nose that I did not expect to have made this happen. In fact, uh, the resume of this perfumer is really riddled with uh, quite pop uh, celebrity fragrances, uh, very, very um, achievable lower price point fragrances. And let me just refer to my list that I've made. Um, a lot from Avon. Uh, she did some Bath and Body Works, um, Beyonce, Britney Spears, Calvin Klein. Uh, she did the Coach Leatherwear, which I actually really like. Uh, she did the Nirvana for Elizabeth and James, but only the white, none of the others. Uh, Guess she did a fragrance for Harajuku Lovers, which is playful, very playful take on fragrance, Jennifer Lopez, Jimmy Choo, the Jimmy Choo Fever, um, Justin Bieber she composed for, um, and so on and so on and so on. So really quite a lot of Oriflame, Paris Hilton, Ralph Lauren, Sarah Jessica Parker. She did a lot of fruity numbers, sweet, sweeter fruity numbers, and quite affordable fragrances, which is not a bad thing. This is her niche, and this is where she generally works within that sort sort of a setting, within that within that sort of a a theme. Um, Elizabeth and James and Nirvana. I haven't obviously tried all of her creations, but I've tried quite a few from the list that she's produced, uh, just incidentally. And I have to say, Elizabeth and James Nirvana and White is one of the if not the best one that she's ever composed. I think she's done a fantastic job being an editor on this fragrance. Not quite a nose, she was really the editor. It is assumed that these fragrances are going to be layered and the whole line is sort of made under an aura of layering fragrances. Many people love combining black and white. Uh, white has the three notes, and it's obvious that there are three notes. I would even say they're really clearly two notes. There is Lily of the Valley, and it's it's quite weak. Um, it's really an undertone here. What what is it very prevalent in this perfume? And basically, if I had to pick with my own nose without having looked at the um, at the notes, I really was sure that there were only two things that I could smell, and it was the peony, which is really it's a it's a nice peony that is in here, and the musk, clean musk, uh, very, very clean laundry musk, and a beautiful meaty peony, juicy peony. So there's like a bit of a fruitiness to the, to the flowers. Um, I think it's the combination of peony and a little bit of lily of the valley. There's a little bit of that juiciness, slight fruitiness to it, but at the same time, peony is a quite a fruity flower on its own. So this is a floral musk clear as mud, floral musk <laughs> for short. Um, I think it's easy to wear, it's pleasant, clean, ex exceptionally clean, very pure, very um, uh, resonant and, and uh, not compl non complicated, you know, it's just, it's pure white. It is white, yes, I agree. <laughs> it, it sounds like it, it smells like it, it looks like it very, very clear picture, very clear message from Elizabeth and James. This is a low white color um, personified in the smell. And uh, what do I think about this? I think it's difficult to imagine who would wear it. Not because it's not wearable, because it is extremely wearable, but because it's so edited down, so simple, so minimalistic that it does not really evoke any particular emotion. It doesn't evoke any particular imagery. No references really come up in my head because it's straight up peony. I mean, it references the flower itself. There's nothing really, it doesn't tell a story. It's a scent for the sake of the scent. 
and it does not have this backing of a of a pre-thought or afterthought. It's just it's there's no prologue uh, to it at all. It's straight up peony musk, uh, which I think many people will appreciate, and it's going to be a really good daily wear fragrance for those of you guys who like uh, florals, and especially for those of you who appreciate a good peony scent because this is what it is. Uh, but if you're looking for something interesting, special, it's layerable also. Um, if you're looking for something interesting, special, unique, whatever, I mean, don't look here. This is not going to satisfy you, I don't think, because it is just, it's not just minimalistic because minimalism can be very stylish. This is simple minimalistic. There is a very much of an ease to it, which I think can be very, very attractive. Um, in terms of wear because it's just it's an easy daytime scent, but I don't think this is a, my kind of scent. I do like layering it. I think layering it is really fun It was meant to be a layering fragrance. So yes, I get it That's how it was constructed, but at the same time black is also supposed to be a layering fragrance But it's so much more interesting. There's so much to it There's like a lot to sink your teeth into and really sort of experience in that fragrance whereas the white is kind of just a peony um, so quite an interesting little uh, intricately constructed very simple scent with minimal ingredients um, and I think will suit those of you guys who love the florals, who love the floral musks and who love peonies. Um, so quite a wide audience, they're casting a wide net. This, no, there's nothing niche, interesting or unique about it. This could have been made by any company. This is by no means specific to aesthetic of Elizabeth and James, by no means specific to any kind of aesthetic because it is straight flower scent. Um, and um, I think she was successful, the perfumer was successful in coming up with a scent that was quite uh, straightforward and minimal, which I think was the idea behind it. But I do think that we're in an, in an age of fragrance creation where you really, you need a hook. You need something to think about. You need something to capture your attention. You need something, you just need something special and there's nothing at all special in the scent, unfortunately for me. Um, although it is a well-constructed fragrance, it lasts pretty decently. Um, I do prefer sprayers, but I have it in roller bowls because I've only ever owned minis and I have no intention of buying a full size because I just don't think this is full size bottle worthy. But I do think if you have a mini, you'll enjoy it. So basically, that's, I'm kind of lukewarm on this one. Um, I do think it's good quality, but I'm lukewarm on the composition because I just I wanted more from Elizabeth and James, and I didn't get as much as I wanted from them. But I did with the Nirvana Black. I did with Nirvana Black. With, with White, a bit of a miss for me, but I see where they were going, and I understand the purpose of this in the lineup. It is a layering fragrance, and it is a very simple fragrance that is going to be very satisfying to those um, people who do not like a lot of like stuff going on with their fragrance but for me i think still they could have done a little bit more with it they could have just pushed it that much further just a little bit so that's it for today i hope it was fun for you to listen to my ramblings about elizabeth and james nirvana and white uh, let me know what you think of this scent do you share my opinion do you have a different opinion did you find different scents that you would like to layer this with do you agree that it is a pretty simplistic perfume that is not quite special enough? This is kind of where, where I sit with it. But again, my opinions are just my opinions. That's it for today. See you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.